Good Thursday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Stone Schaefer here with your October 5th one-minute forecast. I was struggling with the date there for a second, but weather alerts got that freeze watch. It will be placed today at 10 p.m. up until tomorrow at 10 a.m. Now, there will be some counties that could get pushed to a freeze warning as well. So uh, if you have any outdoor plants that can be brought in, I'd bring them in. Uh, we're going to have this frost chance really for Thursday night and for Friday night this week. And there could be some days next week that could see that frost chance as well. And we're going to see winds pick up. We're looking at winds 40 to 45 miles per hour across much of the state. Could get up to 50 miles per hour as well. And then really just sticks like that through the night into tomorrow morning. Uh, and then finally, as we get through Friday afternoon, Looks like those winds should finally start to move out. We actually have a calm wind weekend ahead into the start of next week. Highs today, we see that cool down. Mid to lower 50s across much of the board. We have some 60s to the south, some 40s to the north. Precision cast shows we'll have spotty showers on and off throughout the day. Maybe a chance for a thunderstorm. It's probably a pretty small chance. You're looking at mostly just heavy rains possible there. Then we get through the night, and that's where we start to see a chance of a wintry mix, maybe some ice, but some snow as well, especially through the central and eastern portions of the state. Uh, no accumulations expected. It's going to be a very light snow if anything does fall, but it's something that as you wake up tomorrow morning, for someone that wakes up early, uh, maybe to watch Good Day, that you could be seeing that snow uh, fall from the sky, warm ground, the warm ground that's going to keep it off. Uh, then we move to Friday afternoon. Everyone looks to dry off there. And your 10-day temperature trends, well, we're trending upwards. We'll see the 40s tomorrow, but then we're back to the 60s for the weekend in the start of next week. We'll have to keep an eye on that ridge that was building up temperatures of the 70s for Monday and Tuesday, sort of flattened, so may get stuck in the upper 60s, mid-60s there as well.